Okay, hello everybody. I'm really glad to be here today and to present you a Remix. So Remix is a debugger tool, a debugger tool that can debug smart contracts. So I am Jan, I'm working for the c with the CPP team together with Christian, Jana, Dimitri, Bob and, and Greg and Pavel. Um, so actually the name is Remix. Uh, we already had a debugger last year, uh, it was Mix, and Mix was completely integrated uh, inside the CPP Ethereum suite. But we have decided for some reasons to reboot the project from scratch and to start a Remix. I mean, the main reason of that was that as the community uh, grows, grows and grows, it is more valuable now to propose new tools that can be integrated inside other application than to have a single closed application. I mean, I would prefer say it, um, I would prefer say it, uh, okay, uh, you can use a plugin that you can integrate in your application that you like to use than to say, okay, we have built Remi, we have built Mix, you have to use Mix, you have to use this because this is the only application. So it's better to have something that can be integrated in other application than to have something close, closed. So that's why Remix uh, is born. So we have started uh, developing Remix a few months ago. Basically, it's just a VM debugger. You can see a screenshot here. And this screenshot has been, has been taken from the Etherscan integration. So we have uh, basic features of a VM debugger. It's OK. Uh, we are working now on having a full integration of this debugger inside Solidity. So you can debug smart contracts using Solidity. Uh, this uh, remix uh, has been developed using JavaScript technologies. Uh, you can use it using LPM, so you can pull remix using NPM, and you can use uh, some modules of remix uh, with Node. And the main reason of all that is just to give to the community a new tools that can be used to debug easily smart contracts. So this is the integration uh, of Remix in Solidity. So we have uh, basic features of an ID, like source code debugging, that's a must have, like breakpoint manager, coming soon, and like several trackers, like uh, contract to range tracker, and also local variables tracker. So we have two parts, the VM debugging stuff and also the Solidity debugging stuff. And I guess that's the most interesting part will be Solidity debugging stuff. So I will, um, I will just do a short demo to present you uh, all the stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's not okay. Okay. Uh, so here I have one integration of Remix inside Browser Solidity. Uh, Browser Solidity is a text editor. It's a Solidity editor that includes a compiler. So you can just write smart contract, and you can compile smart contract. And also, it has some features of an ID, because you can, in, you can in the right panel here, uh, create transaction. So you can, in the browser, write contract, and then test contract in, in an environment. So this is not Remix. This is only browser solidity. So in which environment uh, will I will deploy this, this contract? I can choose. And I have two possibilities. The first one is to use 
uh, the embedded JavaScript VM. So in that way, I will just run uh, the execution of this contract is inside the browser, and everything will be inside the browser. Every transaction will be deployed inside the browser. Or I can use an external web free object. So I can just connect the browser to some kind of external node. And I have a node here, which is here. You can see that on the upper left corner. I am using the CPP uh, Ethereum client, uh, which is, uh, I, I have run this uh, application in test mode. It means that I can just mine, mine, and mine every five seconds here. And I can just deploy contract, test it, result from scratch, and so on. So don't care about what is on the right side. Here, I just have a node uh, which, constant, which is constant, constantly mining. OK. So I can just deploy this contract. Waiting for trans transfer to be mined. OK. I have two principal methods, functions, in this contract. Uh, don't care so much about <laughs> the code here. This is not the principal step that I want to show you. So the first is the fallback function, and the second one is the move fund function. So this is a donation contract. Basically, I, will, I can just give Ether to this contract, and then the owner of the contract can withdraw some Ether from this contract. So let's say that I will send 10 Ether. Here, okay. I will call a fallback function here. I have to wait a little bit, okay. So I have some details about the transaction here, but yeah, let's skip that for now. And then on the right side here, I can start debugging this transaction. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah, I will just... Okay. So now, uh, I debug the transaction. Uh, so I have launched Remix here, which is uh, so a module that runs inside Browser Solidity. And I can start debug debugging my contract here. I can go forward and I can go backward. And I can see here, the location in the source code, where is the execution going? Here. So I have two important features here. The first is the source location, as you can see here. And the second one is those two panels in the right side. You can check out here the state of the contract. So you can see that uh, the variable underscore giver here is going from zero to the address of the sender, etc. And we can also check out local variable here. Okay, I will now just call this function here. Uh, sorry, I have to copy and paste this stuff here. And I will call uh, so the move fund function with two parameters. The first one is the address, where I will send the ether. And the second one is the amount of ether. So this is not so much now, this is only one way. <laughs> OK, and I will just call my phones. Okay. I have some details about transactions, not important. And I can start debugging. And then I can follow the execution of the transaction here. Now I am in only owner modifier here. 
I can check out the balance, which is a local variable here. Now I am in the two sends, in the send function, and if the send is successful, successful sorry, I will just trigger the found moved event here. Yeah, sorry, this is not so readable, but yeah. Okay, so I have source location inside browser solidity, thanks to Remix. And I have the contract state with all variables that are decoded. I have the locals, and I can also, oops, sorry, I can also obviously check out some raw values, like the stack, the storage changes, the memory, and the call data. Okay, so that's for the short demo here. What's next? Um, okay, so this is the remix integration inside Browser Solidity. What's next? Uh, I think we could easily Imagine that Remix could be integrated in several other tools. Today, we talked about uh, Truffle, Dapple, we talked about Ethereum Studio, we talked about Mist and Metamask and so on. So it's, it will be really easy to integrate Remix, so this debugger, inside all those tools. Because all those tools, test RPC, Dapple, Truffle, are made for development purpose. So I think it's a good thing to have a solidity debugger inside those tools already. And this is really easy to use. Just have to pull the NPM module, and then you just have to create, to instantiate the object and to render uh, the remix inside your HTML file. This is here. So remix is available as an NPM module, but more of that, uh, we also provide some kind of low-level tools in JavaScript also that can be used by everybody to create new tools and to imagine new use, use cases. Uh, for example, here uh, you have Trace Manager, which is a tool that you can use uh, to check out some value in the VM trace. It provides an API to easily retrieve value from the VM trace. You have source mapping decoder, which provides an API to deal with the source location in the Solidity contract. You have an IST worker that is used uh, to crawl and to work over all the nodes of the Solidity contract. And obviously, you have also a uh, decoder. So you can use those tools to extend your tools, to create new tools, and to also imagine new use cases with that. And I think that this is a really important feature to provide APIs and not to build a closed application. So what uh, we already done, we have already worked on the integration of Remix in Metamask, in Mist. If you go in Etherscan, you can already use Mix now. And uh, as I showed you just now, you can use also Remix inside both Redity. So now, uh, this is a personal opinion. Uh, what I want to keep in mind, and what maybe we, want, we need to keep in mind, is the first uh, debugging transactions with Remix so, or other tools can be used to debug transactions that are already committed in the blockchain, either a private blockchain or a public blockchain, whatever. And I think this is really nice features. Because, for example, if now uh, you come to me and you say, oh, Jan, can you debug these transactions in the public blockchain? I will have to, to check out every uh, opcode. I will have to check out the VM trace, of, and it will be very, very long. 
yeah. And so this is why I think this is really nice to be able to debug transactions that are in the main chain. Secondly, you can easily integrate Remix inside other app. And then, as I said, it provides a low-level API. Okay, what's next? We need to commit uh, this work on the storage and local tracker. We need to finish the breakpoint manager. We need to do a scenario builder. We need to have a full integration inside the Ethereum VM, EGS VM, sorry. And we have to do the missed integration. And obviously, as it is an API, we have to do a lot of documentations, a lot of documentations. And yes. So yeah, to finish, that's, I would just say that uh, you can go to check those links. You can uh, use Remix, please. You can integrate Remix in your application, please, please, please. <laughs> and you can also contribute. And I will be very happy if uh, you can just uh, integrate Remix in your application and if you can contribute on improving Remix as well because I think it's really important to share and to do stuff together. So yes, yeah, thanks for listening and see you soon. <laughs> so. Thank you, Jan.